Rise Son of Rome is a linear third person action adventure hack and slash game developed by Crytek and published by Microsoft Studios. It was one of the launch titles for the Xbox One and was later ported over to PC in 2014. Although looking at it, you could easily think that the game was released today. I will not describe the plot in much detail in order to avoid major spoilers as the game is less than 10 hours long. The game opens up with a barbarian horde assaulting the city of Rome. You play as Marius, a Roman soldier who after holding back a wave of barbarians goes to the palace and takes the Emperor Nero to his quarters to protect him, where he tells Nero the story of his life, the story of how Marius seeks revenge for the murder of his family. The story is engaging through its meaningful cutscenes, dialogue and especially the fantastic visuals. The pace is kept up throughout the entire campaign with hardly a dull moment throughout. From the sharp detailed backgrounds of the beautiful metropolis of Rome to the mysterious forests of Britain provide a deep sense of immersion. My only complaint as far as the story goes is that the historical characters from different time periods are thrown in and their personalities are rewritten for the sake of the story, while simply creating new fictional characters would have suited the story better. Just like the graphics, the combat and movement animations are decently well done, except for the executions, which while visually impressive, become stale quickly due to seeing them multiple times every minute. The combat is enjoyable, although by no means deep. Your moves are limited to attack, stun, block or roll. There are only a couple of enemy types, shielded, dual sworded frenzy, unblockable heavies or ranged, along with the regular cannon fodder. There are a couple of boss fights which are a welcome break from the standard combat and they're overall well done. Ultimately the combat does a good enough job and the game's short length prevents it from feeling repetitive. The game's score is well done and fits the game's atmosphere and setting very well. The game's value is in its unique setting of the grossly unexplored Roman Empire. I can't think of another game about the Romans of this high production quality. For this reason, I would highly recommend this unique game to any fans of story-driven action games and especially to any fan of Rome. Overall, I would rate the game an 8 out of 10 due to its good story immersive world and acceptable gameplay.